Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are actually on route to a pretty special shoot. Um, this is the first of definitely several shoots that are gonna be on this YouTube channel. And it's in partnership with a really cool local company. It's called Blackheart and they are a uh, bicycle company based out of Los Angeles. And I am an avid cyclist myself and a lot of what I do in my personal life I feel like doesn't really make it on this channel. Um, and I really want to find more ways to partner with local brands and you know just bring more kind of interesting ideas and ways to make videos on this channel. And Blackheart is definitely going to be a wonderful partner in making a lot of this happen. Uh, I am working with them uh, in a number of different ways. I have my own bike now. Uh, which I'm very excited about. It's a titanium build. I'm definitely going to be doing like some biking vlog, photo shoot kind of things in the future. Uh, but today we are heading out to shoot with Jess, who is a very talented cyclist. And we're going to be shooting all around East Los Angeles, which is my home and also hers. Uh, so we know this area very well. We're going to find some really cool kind of spots around that portray the city really nicely. Um, some canyons and some beautiful mountain views, a uh, good mix of nature and urban landscapes. And today I'm going to be shooting on mainly the GFX. I did bring the X-T5 as well, but the GFX I think uh, really lends itself well to this. I want to be able to crop, especially I want to be shooting pretty wide and I want to be able to crop some shots and have some nice tight angles of everything, uh, which I'm very excited about. But yeah, stoked to have Blackheart aboard on the channel and stoked to bring you guys along on this fun little lifestyle shoot today. So let's go ahead and meet up with Jess and then we're gonna head up to the mountains and shoot. So when I'm shooting any sort of lifestyle photography, this cycling shoot included, I think it's really important to break it down and understand what you're actually shooting and how everything looks when you actually put all the images together. In a sense, lifestyle photography to me is just the actual you know, living of life. You're capturing different uh, subjects, different activities, different people doing different things, and you want to do that as honestly as possible. You know, For example, for this cycling shoot, we were able to shoot with someone who actually knows how to ride bikes extremely well, just smashed it behind the bike. And it gave the images um, a look and feel that you wouldn't really get otherwise if you just had someone random who doesn't know how to ride bikes, who doesn't ride bikes every day. So selecting people to shoot is extremely important in how the final images will turn out. Secondly, I really wanted to focus on a couple different components of the cycling process, mainly getting ready to cycle and then also, you know, riding bikes in a few different locations around the city just to get a cool look and feel to the photos and give it some variety with some different locations. So first things first, we started out shooting with Jess uh, at her house and we mainly just got her getting ready, putting shoes on, tightening up her jersey, putting her helmet on, checking the bike, making sure that's all good to go. We had some really nice light to work with, which was awesome. It was kind of shining through the trees and overall gave the photos a nice warm glow to them, which is something I was definitely looking for. Having these photos paired with some of the stuff that we shot later in the day, I think really helped to tell a little bit more of a story. And this is definitely my advice to anyone out there who is looking to shoot more stories like this is really think about the whole process of whatever this person is doing. Maybe they're a ceramicist, maybe they're a chef, maybe they're just, you know, someone who does some sort of activity. You want to make sure that you get the entire process. You know, if you're shooting a chef, you should shoot the prep of the food and actual cooking of the food, the final process, uh, the interaction between the chefs and the other sous chefs. And the same goes for pretty much anything that you're shooting in the lifestyle category. 
And for this, I wanted to shoot not only her getting ready, but also her really, you know, riding the bike and actually really getting into it, getting into a full motion. To where it felt natural and it actually looked like she was riding. You know, I don't want to fake any of this. I want to make sure that it looks real. Um, and that's a very important component as well. So we also shot around a few different locations in the mountains around LA, which I thought turned out really nice. A few of them Jess actually just recommended as normal biking routes that she would do. And this is also very helpful because again, I want her to feel comfortable riding where she wants to ride. You know, I can have many ideas for different locations and different ideas, uh, but sometimes it's really nice to rely on who you're actually shooting with and you know, the kinds of stuff that they like to do. Not only is it gonna make the photos feel a little more natural, it's gonna just make them feel more comfortable because it's stuff that they already do typically. And that all works together really nicely. We found these beautiful hillside to ride around, which looked amazing. The light was shining through. We tried to get a few different angles of her not only climbing up the hills, but also descending. I wanted to get some wider shots, um, but we saved that for later. So a lot of these photos are pretty tight, but I do think they turned out really nice. Now, even within this location, we got many different angles, not only of her riding, but also stopping to look at the views and, you know, just kind of the natural process of taking a break and looking around at the scenery as you're riding up a hill. Again, all of this is really important to kind of tie just all of it together and tell a little bit more of a story. And, you know, the more locations and opportunities that you have to do this, um, I think you're going to be better off in the long run. The final location that we went to is actually a place that I've heard of as well. Um, it was up in the mountains above Los Angeles, up in the Glendale area. And we got some really beautiful stuff up here. There was this really cool kind of flat area with a beautiful view that we could have her ride to the end of it and take a peek and just look at the view. Um, so we got some shots of that. We also had her kind of bomb down the hill a little bit and we were able to get not only the perspective of being on the road, but also above the road as well. And these are probably some of my favorite images of the day. These turned out really nice. I love the color. The light was just really nice. It was almost sunset time. So it really worked in our favor. And in these images, you can see how dependent we are on the light being nice. Um, this is a big reason of why I kind of plan ahead of time with which locations I wanna hit at specific times of day because some are gonna look a lot better than others at certain times of the day. For example, shooting at her house, it didn't really matter too much what time we shot as we got into some of the more open spaces with not a lot of shade. You're definitely relying on the sun a lot more to do the work for you. So keeping in mind where the sun is, where the angles are and how it kind of all works together is something that I'm always keeping in mind. I use this app called Sunseeker, which I've talked about before on this channel, and I think it's one of the best apps out there, especially if you want to go scout a certain location, this will give you the opportunity to figure out where the sun's gonna be, where it's gonna be hitting, and you can take screenshots and kind of just understand what the best times of day are to shoot at specific locations. So all in all, it was a really fun day shooting with Jess. Can't thank Blackheart enough for sponsoring this video and also several other videos that are gonna be coming out later this year. I'm really excited to bring you guys along on a little bit more of the cycling journeys that I'm going on and also more photo shoots hopefully with some other Blackheart ambassadors as well. The best thing about cycling to me is just the community of people and how nice everybody is. So I'm hoping to be able to highlight some more people down the road and just how cool this community is, not only here in LA, but also just in general, riding bikes is pretty damn fun. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you have any other questions about the process of shooting, uh, lifestyle photography or anything else, leave those down below. I'll be sure to answer those. Definitely going to be making more videos and bringing you guys along on some more shoots here in the future. And we'll see you guys in the next one.